hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. That was earthquake monitor. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Uh, well, there are two M's, so they're not going to be... I don't know. Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. No, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. No, it's the other two. So we look at this. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. Avoidance behaviors consults previous data. Or consult previous data on uh, unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males, disproportionate food intake. So this is talking about the two other guys. Suck on. Oh, interesting. So this is just kind of the edge right here. Did I miss anything? Too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? Subject Henry and Delilah. Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. Uh, let's see. Comprehensive explorer keeps to the path. Prone to anger. Passive. Guilty. Forthright. Guarded. Subject has fully engaged super. Fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be significantly proven. All signs point towards fully. Co uh, cooperation. Subject may be aware of the task suggests we disengage if decides to leave his posts. Sus 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 yeah. 
Susceptibility to manipulation, a nine. Holy moly. What do you mean? Maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. The grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? Uh, Delilah, 43, Program Status Review. Uh, week 4, Annual, Observation Traits, Reliable, Considering Alcoholism. Observant, char Charismatic, Selfish, Skewed, Perception of Personal History. Uh, pertinent, Observed Facts, Never Married, No Kids, Rarely Hikes or Leaves imminent, uh, Immediate Surroundings, Multiple Lovers, Despite a Longtime Partner. Don't think we should do anything huh. that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Oh, they're in Wyoming. So fucking wound up. It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Interesting. Although it says it, I like to stay to the path, but actually I, I don't. I've, I've done quite a bit of exploration. So isn't that tool like a bear tracker or something? What the heck is... Come on. Nope. There we go, okay. Oh my god! The best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. And to use... This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No. I am getting drunk. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay, ay, ay. Ha, ha. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. Uh, 
That's... Isn't that where the fire was before? Okay, so it's it's this direction. I feel like I went in the complete wrong direction at this point. Back at the uh, big tree. myself into a pickle. What is... So it got quite strong this way. Alright, so let's go this way. Let me go to the right. I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarm. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. And I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you is not me. Oh my god, 
Alright, so I was here. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. He just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Well, I want to I I want to go to the cave. stick together okay keep our story straight from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation everything we just we got to be honest and consistent yeah i suppose you're right i know hmm all right well this is getting a little bit weird Flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Alright, so we need to go to... That cave. So we gotta go by past the porta potties and go down. Okay. Past the porta potties? I mean, past the porta potty. Uh. Yes? Is this the correct way? No, I'm going the opposite direction. Okay, got it. There's the porta potty. This is right. There we go. Now oh, I'm doing things. Now oh, we're getting places. Let's see what we can find down in this cave. The wife was saying uh, Firewatch is on um, uh, Game Pass. I, I don't know if that's true. Uh, I didn't check. Uh, take the time to look it up. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? 
It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. I can't tell if she's like in it and on it or or what. Cause you remember that first phone call where she's like was like super uh Someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. I can't get any damn reception. Jesus, this is a big cave. Oh, uh, go gosh. Uh, come on, game. This is not the time to. Really? All right. Echo, 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 echo. Uh, Is anybody down there? What? Wait. There was a whole nut. Oh my god. Come on. There was a whole nother path. Was it? Um. Uh, what the heck is going why no why won't you let me go this way come on come on come on game Arrgh. we did it uh It's like fighting me to not let me go back.
Look, there's a shoe. Looks like there's a path that you can walk down there too. You see that? Is it? I want to go back to check to see if I can jump down this big drop, this big jump. Long, steep drop. Can't go that way. It just it just will not let me. All right. Well. All right, fine. It is what it is. Give it a shot. Wasn't right. Huh, okay. Moving on. All right, let's go ahead and wiggle on out of this cave. Someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Man, she can see freaking everything, can't she? Kind of wish I took a picture of the place that I left. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Um... Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? It wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. Huh. Better not run into a Wendy... Wen... Wen Wendigo? Uh, Brian Gould at Hamilton Science Fair. Rough draft. Taking... Talking meteors. How ham radio waves can use meteors. And how are you doing tonight, Ghost Skull? Uh, if they... If, if... What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You could probably think I was a liar, but... You would all be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come from our planet... That come to our planet from outer space can be used to bounce ham radio waves off... And let you use radio your way to talk much better than normal, right? Now, if you think, okay, Brian, that sounds like a movie, 
like Flight of the Navigator, it's not real. But you are wrong. It, it is real. It's science. Yes, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying replaying this game. There's parts of it I just don't remember, so I'm, I'm enjoying quite a lot of it. Uh, it's possible because meteor scatter communications. My science fair project proves that meteor scatter communications is real. That's right. Only you can prevent forest fires. Uh, but what is it? MSC is the radio pro propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails of the meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors upon meteors upon their atmospheric entry can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radios operators can use to establish brief communication pathways between operators up to 1500 miles away. It's pretty cool. I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1000 miles from my house. We are going to try to talk at regular time, but my hypothesis is that won't work and we'll have to wait for a meteor shower. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Rope spool, counterweights, pulley, crank, angle control, pack contents, my rope, and our camera. 